The behavior I have chosen to focus on for this module is feeding of the mallard duck. Here the duck is showing a common type of feeding where it eats algae off the bottom of the pond, sticking its tail in the air, submerging its head completely underwater, and stretching its neck to the bottom of the pond to reach algae and other sources of food. This behavior is allowing the animal to get nourishment and energy from natural food sources. Mallard ducks in the Tempe area also feed on food left or provided by humans. The type of feeding seen here is on sources of food provided by humans. Instead of submerging their heads, the ducks peck the ground and skim the top of the water to get their food. In this type of feeding situation, where there are many ducks around, behaviors such as lunging or retreating may occur to protect or lunge at food. Behavior seen here by this duck is retreating. As you can see, there are other animals surrounding the duck and trying to take away its food. To keep this from happening, the duck is in a crouched, crouched position and runs away from the threat while continuously trying to eat its food. As the video continues of the ducks feeding, I will explain the hypotheses I created in relation to Tim Virgin's four levels of analysis. The hypothesis created for the function level is, if the duck feels hunger, it will seek nourishment from food that is easily accessible, whether that be algae or food provided by a human. The article, Feeding Behavior, Feeding Habitat Utilization, and Feeding Efficiency of Mallard Ducks as Guided by a Domestic Duck, relates to this hypothesis. The author, Pearson, states that ducklings who chose their location to feed based on where food was most prominent by saying the main feeding area was, quote, a choice which is thought to reflect the abundant occurrence of insects in this habitat as a result of edge effects, end quote. The second hypothesis created is related to phylogeny, states that the duck has evolved to have different types of eating habits as well as to eat different foods. In the article, Mallards Feeding on Salmon Carcasses in Alaska, the author, Gleason, explains that, quote, Mallard food habits and foraging behavior are plastic, allowing individuals of this species to capitalize on locally abundant, high-energy food sources, end quote. The third hypothesis relating to development states that ducks will develop skills based on what their mothers have taught them. These skills include feeding, retreating, and lunging. In the article, Survival of Wood Duck Ducklings and Broods in Mississippi and Alabama by Jay Davis, the author states that the, quote, brood-rearing females, end quote, have a large effect on the duckling survival rate. The last hypothesis based on causation is that the ducks have different mechanisms and ways of eating depending on their surroundings and the type of food available. In the study entitled Comparative Fe Feeding Behavior and Niche Organization in a Mediterranean Duck Community, the author, Andy Green, states that, quote, the differences in feeding methods observed in this study were connected with differences in food selection, end quote. 